get out Boli, get out Postino, and get out all the players. Just get lost. That's it. Get lost. Means means the club has hit a new low. From 10th position, we have gone to 12th position. Seriously. And Everton team, we have lost to Everton team who were struggling with relegation, who have been directed 10 points. And now, they, means if they would have not got that 10 points deduction, they would have been ahead of us in the points table. Means this is the standard of our club. We are not a mid-table club anymore. They are saying that we are a mid-table club. We are a basically a relegated club actually. We are fighting for relegation. Like that. We have taken our spot for granted. So right from the ownership, to the physios, to the coach, to the players, everybody should get out and should hold their head in shame for the abysmal performance. And the uh, social media handles of Chelsea FC is saying that it's a defeat today. Defeat another day. Another defeat. No, it's not uh, defeat today. It's defeat every day. Our it's, uh, uh, Defeat has become a habit right now. Since Stortboli has come in, defeat has become a habit. Eat, sleep, lose, repeat. That's it. Eat, sleep, lose, repeat. That's all is happening. And Everton was not some world class or anything. Just they got a lead and they just hold on to the lead. That's it. That's the basic job they have done and Sean Dyche has done. That much we couldn't even break through that Everton's game plan. And what is this bloody Pochettino is doing? If one of the players get injured, what are the physios doing? I really don't understand. They cannot even keep Rhys James fit for two games continuously. They cannot even keep Rhys James fit for two games continuously. He cannot play full 90, I mean 180 minutes continuously. So what is the physio there for? God only knows. Physios over. Then coach. 15 matches or 16 matches are uh, done there. Means 16 matches are done. Not even a single match I have seen that Postino has made an impact substitution, a match winning substitution, a change the game wall of substitutions. He has not even made a single single impactful substitutions. All of the substitutions, whatever he has made today, Sterling, Jackson busy with only fans, then uh, this guy, goalkeeper substitutions, flop, all everybody flop. Every, everybody flop. That goalkeeper, I don't know, is his first game. So cannot even blame him. He's punching it right in front of that Everton player and he's scoring. It's his first goal of the season. So this is what we are doing. We are giving other players opportunity to score against us and get three points. We are not doing anything, man. We have not progressed even a 0.0001% from last season. We have deteriorated more and more under this new manager. Really. What? Nkunku will come in. He'll see two, three games. They are saying that Nkunku will work out magic. He'll see two, three games like Enzo has also come in. Kaiseido has also come in. So many players. 100 million we have spent. 200 million. Some 1 billion we have spent in two years. New new players will come. This Nkunku will see. Around him they are not playing well. I am playing well. They will see 2-3 games. He will see. Then he will also understand that this club is not at it. And he will also lose his confidence. And he will also like. It will be same. Same bunch of feathers. All together it is going to be. Useless bunch of lots. That's it. So the owner totally has to get out. Should hang. He should simply sell the club and leave. If he wants to. If Chelsea wants to survive. Then this totally has to leave. Then Postino has to get lost today itself. Seriously, nothing is going to change under him. He's not a world-class elite manager or anything. He might be a good manager, but he's not working at Chelsea. His philosophy is simply not working at Chelsea. His attacking is also neither working. You cannot even defend also. And second half, each and every match is second half. The performance is deteriorating. Man First half will be the players. Second half is the managers. Managers ha will have a prep talk in the halftime, isn't it? Will have a preparation time. 15 minutes in the half time, he should encourage the players and he should motivate the players. But it's dipping. Same like last season also under Graham Potter. First half, the players used to play well, come out well, fresh and everything. Second half, the performance used to dip. Same thing is happening. The cycle is repeating again, after again, after again, after again. So this whole philosophy is bullshit. That's it. And nothing. There's no process or anything. Aston Villa, whatever. Aston Villa, yesterday you saw Aston Villa, how they played. That is how you play football. That is called a process. They defeated Arsenal. They defeated Manchester City. That's called a process. That's called a project. And that's called a manager Unai Emery. How, how he's performing. That's called a project. This is not a process. This is basically a bullshit. That's it. It's a basically a bullshit. Means from the top to bottom it is rotten. None of the people are doing their duties properly. None of them. None of them. Physios are also not doing anything. Managers also are not doing anything. Captain is also not doing anything. Coach, uh, this thing. What is there? Owners are also not doing anything. Nothing they are doing. This is rotten, man. Absolutely rotten. This club is finished, actually. Finished. It's a relegated club, actually. His tactics is not working. His tactics is not working and he doesn't have a plan B. And whatever plan B is doing, experiment with Kukurla as a right back, it's simply not working. It's simply not working. Kukurla could have played a left back and Matson could have come in. He could have played a right back, maybe. Or he could have played dis uh, dis uh, that disaster as a right back and he could have played Colwell as a centre back. But that also one player gets injured, it's over. That's it. Pack, like a pack of cards, it will get destroyed. 
So I really don't know. Everton team, really they show a lot of heart and spirit, man. They have an ambition to do something, to get out of the relegation zone. They got 10 points deduction, so they have that ambition to prove everybody wrong. So they had intent, they had a lot of intent. Dukure, you saw how he played yesterday. How he played Dukure, you see how he played. He played 10 times better than uh, uh, Kaiseido. He had more energy, 50 times more energy than Kaiseido. Kaiseido is walking like a dead man. No impact whatsoever. Enzo some shot in the first half, he has done okay. And Cole Palmer is the only one who has played positively. I can give 8 out of 10 for Cole Palmer. Not 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 for Cole Palmer's performance. He's the only one who is looking a little bit bright and he's looking good. That's it this season. Other than that, all everybody flopped. Substitutions flop, starting eleven, everybody flop. Players are not fit also. They're not even. They cannot even play two games continuously. Imagine if you had Champions League, if it, if you had European football, what would have happened? One game per week. Then also we cannot keep our players fit. So no excuses whatsoever, man. When the season started, we should at least finish top six. Should have been our aim. Now we are twelfth, man. Liverpool are eighteen points ahead of us. Liverpool are eighteen points ahead of us. City are eleven points ahead of us. So what we'll say, man, Aston Villa, bloody Aston Villa is 16 points ahead of us. Uh, means uh, 16 games have passed through. So what, what we are doing? We have deteriorated more and more, man. There's no, there's no uh, glare of hope which is looking uh, to look forward to, man. No glare of hope, no expectations not whatsoever. It's going down, 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 down the drains. That's it. None of the players have not seen any improvement also. If I would have said that some players have improved and everything, it's not improved also. They're not playing like a team. They are playing like a bunch of individuals, headless chickens they are playing. They are playing like individuals. Everybody is mispassing. Final third, it's so poor. Means 15 games have passed through whatever we have played in the last season in the final third. From the first game, what we have played in the final third? Same. No improvement whatsoever. So what the manager is doing? What Postino is doing? He should get lost. He cannot improve our team's for, uh, final third game. Then why is he there? Why is he there with such a high salary? He cannot. He, his substitutions are pathetic. He cannot improve our team's final third performance. Then what is he there for? We cannot even keep clean sheet. We cannot even keep def uh, means defensive clean sheet. We cannot keep. We cannot even take the lead. We cannot even hold on to the lead. Even if we hold on to the means even if we take the lead also, uh, we'll allow the opposition to come back. So what are we there for, man? We are a relegated club. We are absolutely a bunch of jokes. That's it. It's defeat every day. Eat, sleep, lose, repeat. That's it. So all everybody get lost. That's it. Lost. It's not a project anymore. It's a basically bullshit, gob shit. That's it. Newcastle, what they are doing, that's called a project. Aston Villa, what they are doing, that's a project. That's what you call a project. It's not a project. The way Todd has spent all the money, he thought by spending money, we could have won the league and everything. We are 18 points behind Liverpool. Liverpool were disappointed after the transfer season. I remember. Liverpool were disappointed after the transfer market that they have lost both Caicedo and Lavia. And now they're 18 points ahead of us. How they're doing it? Because of pure passion. Klopp knows what he's doing. Klopp's substitutions are impactful. Klopp's philosophy is impactful. He doesn't do much experiment and whatever experiment also is doing, it's working perfectly. And they have a lot of energy also. Our team, headless chicken, bunch of chickens, that's it. And their players are 100 times more fitter than us, man. 100 times more fitter than us. They can play three games in a week and still win two out of those three games. We cannot even win one game in a whole month. Like the situation is so bad that we cannot even win a single, we can win maybe one match in a single uh, month maybe. That's all is our track record. Even uh, despite of playing, uh, not playing Champions League football or despite of not playing Europa League football or Conference League. Midweek we don't even have a match. Still the players are not fit and we cannot even win two matches consecutively. So winning a single match in the whole month is simply unacceptable. Pochettino should get out, Todd Boli should sell and the players also should get lost. That's it, lost. Out!